It's Tracy. Welcome to my weekly tech tip. I am from Lunch Tech Made Easy and I do these tips once a week to help you through the little tiny snags that you might run into when you're trying to set up your sales funnels and opt-in funnels online. Today I'm going to teach you how to upload your freebie or your free offer onto your website so that it can be delivered to the people on your list who have opted in for it. Now, I use a WordPress.org um, site. It's a self-hosted WordPress site. And you can see over in the left-hand column on my site, there is a spot that says Media right here. So what I'm going to do is my, my free offer, my freebie, is already created as a PDF. Uh, I had it created by a designer, and she gave me the PDF copy of my freebie. So when I go into my media file, I'm going to go to add new and I'm going to be uploading that freebie, that PDF into my media library. So we're going to click select files. And today I'm working with a PDF. Um, it's my raving five ways to create ra raving fans. So we'll click on that and you can see down here, it's a PDF. I'll hit open. And as it's uploading, what you're going to see is that it looks like you don't see a pretty picture of the document here. It just has, you know, it's a PDF icon. So we go into edit here. And over on the right, you'll see it, ha it has generated a file URL. That is now where this freebie is living on your website. Now, like I said, it's a, it has an icon here that isn't particularly pretty. If people click on this, they'll see what they're going to find. They're going to go to a page on your site and they will see a link that goes to your freebie and then they click on it and there's the freebie. Okay. If you want to make it a little prettier, there's another step that you can take to make it look a little bit better. We're going to navigate back to your finder window where you had the PDF, where we got it from in the first place, and you're going to go ahead and open it and you'll see a great big version probably of that PDF. What I want you to do is I'm on a Mac, so you, this is how it would be done on a Mac. You click shift command minus and that's going to scale it down a little bit so you can easily take a screenshot. And then also on a Mac, you will hit shift command four and you will get a little hashtag. Now on a Windows machine, there's a different way to take a screenshot and you can easily Google that and find out what that is. But I'm going to, I'm going to cover this whole thing that I want to take a screenshot, the entire graphic. And then I will let my finger up off the mouse. And I now have a screenshot of an image of that particular freebie. Your graphic designer may have provided you with the graphic for your freebie. And if she did or he did, then you won't need to do the screenshot. You can just go into your finder and find that image. So depending on where the screenshots go in your computer, uh, you can in the finder window type over here, screenshots, and you will go to screenshots and be able to find the image that you just took. For me, it went right here. My screenshots all go into this folder right here. And I can sort by date. It's gonna be this top one. You can double click on it if you want to, to make sure, there it is. And then I'm going to rename it so it's easier for me to find. Okay, I go back over to WordPress. I'm going to upload new media again, select file. I'll go to my screenshots. And here it is right here at the top, the raving fan screenshot. I'm going to open that. And I now you can kind of see the teeny tiny little image here. So what I'm going to do to make it look a little bit better when people go to download the raving fans freebie, because this is probably the first time that they've gotten to introduce to me and I want to provide a good first impression. 
I'm going to create a new page. So you just go over to Pages, Add New, and it, on my particular page, I'm going to put this in the content area. Now, everybody's theme in WordPress is going to be a little bit different. So you may not have hero content and extras. You may just have content, and that's completely fine. The new page is called Raving Fans, whatever you want to call it. And then down here, you're going to type the words down. Well, first, actually, first we're going to add the image. So you click Add Media. Here's the picture that you just did with the screenshot. You're going to insert that into the page and you can make it centered. That's what I usually do. And I make it, I make it large so that it's easy to see. And I'm going to insert it into the page and it's in the text area. So now if you go over to visual, you'll see that it's there now. Okay. Then underneath I, Pass, I go past the image and I type the word download the PDF here and I'm going to in a new window I'm going to go to my media library so on a Mac you hit control library open link in new tab I'm going to go now to this PDF and I'm going to copy this URL. Command C. Back up here, I'm going to go to the Add a New Page. I'm going to hover over the text of Download the PDF here. And I'm going to insert a link, paste, Command V. And you can see that's the URL for the PDF and then you have to hit apply. Okay. And I want to center that so that it's centered underneath my image. Then I'm going to publish it. And you'll see up here, you now have a link that you can use that goes to that page. So if you click on that page and you scroll down, You'll see there's the image for the first page of the PDF that I took with the screenshot. And then here is the link to download it. So you can click on that and they can download it. And from here, they can download it to their own computer. They can print it out, you know, whatever they want to do with it. So that is how you add your freebie to your WordPress site using the media library. I hope you found value in this week's tech tip. Make sure to subscribe here on YouTube. And if you have any questions or you would like to see a tech tip in the future about a specific topic, please be sure to go to Tracy at launchtechmadeeasy.com and let me know. Or pop a comment in below the video here and let me know what your question is and I'll be sure to answer it on a future episode. Bye-bye.